So I was on for worship this weekend at my church and um, it, in between services, we're in our green room and that's where we do devotionals, we have conversations, we eat and whatnot, right? And while we were in the green room today, we did a devotional and one of the things that came up in the devotional was some questions, right? One of them was, what, what's an emotion that you struggle with and what is the fear behind that emotion? Like what fear is connected to that emotion? And different people were talking, were going around just kind of like answering those questions and one of the women said wow she you know after she shared some things that were pretty personal she said wow i love to hear other people's stories she, because she said it reminds me that i'm not alone and that other people are going through something similar and she said because it's so easy to feel like you're alone in this like if you're the only one going through it or for you to feel condemned or to feel like there's something wrong with you and she was encouraged realizing that oh my goodness other people are going through something similar or other people have dealt with this as well right and it's a reminder that we are really not alone in this okay like you may be dealing with something or, or you may struggle with something and you think you're the only one or you think you know you're bad or there's something wrong with you or you know you're the one that has it like bad and and what and you know other people's lives seem like they're well put together not realizing that everybody's going through something right everybody's dealing with something there's something like god has had to do the work in each and every single person's life that has given their life over to him right and for me and for many the work is still being done okay and so but it's so easy to feel like you're alone or that you're the only one going through it and that's a trick and a lie of the enemy to isolate you to get you to think that you're by yourself that you're alone that not, no one else is dealing with this that you're the problem you're the issue and we have to remember that everyone is going through something god is continually doing a work in us none of us are perfect none of us you know have it all figured out none of us none of us have it all together and we have to remember that so that when those lies come we're able to recognize that it's a lie and then like nope i'm not gonna even let you linger i'm not even gonna let you stay because of the truth that i know right because of xyz and so it was such a great reminder for everybody there like wow like you know i'm not alone in this or really like you overcame that what did you do or you know just to be able to share like some insight and whatnot i just thought that was so powerful and she thought it was powerful as well because i think that's something she needed to hear was that wow so, so that she was not the only one that was dealing with this particular thing right um or that was struggling with this particular thing and so if you are in a season or in a place where you're feeling isolated where you're feeling condemned where you're feeling like man like you're bad or you just can't figure it out you just can't get it right you're the issue i want you to know that is a lie of the enemy there are many people struggling with different things that god is working on and dealing with them about right that god has delivered them from or god is delivering them from and so we need to understand that so that we can understand one that we are not alone but it's always good to have close people that you can you know have some of these personal conversations with so that they can be there for comfort and for support and wise counsel and so just wanted to give you that reminder today that whatever it is that you're dealing with right now there's probably somebody else going through something identical to what you're going through and many other people going through something similar or have gone through something similar so just know that you are not the first you will not be the last and we are all in need of jesus <laughs> like we are all in need none of us have it all figured out um, but what sets us apart is our willingness to repent and to be refined by god's refiner's fire right and um and allow him to cleanse and wash and remove the things that need to be removed and to do the work that needs to be done but you are not alone and even right now your situation is not a novel a brand new situation just the same things that people continue to go through